Welcome back guys, it's Israel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to deploy your Docker images to the Azure Container Registry. We're going to be using the Azure Portal as well as Azure and Docker CLI. So let's jump into it. And I just quickly want to thank my channel members. If you want to see your name here as well as support the channel and get access to all the code for all of my videos, click the link in the description or the join button on my profile and then send me an email to this email right here with the code that you want access to. But now Let's get into the video. All right, guys. So right before we actually pull our first Docker image, you need to probably download Docker. So to do that, you're going to need to get Docker. So go to docs.docker.com slash get started, get Docker. And then right here, you should be able to see the downloads for Docker, download them, install them. You should then with that download, get Docker CLI. And then if you want to take it a step further, because maybe you want a more visual representation, you could then go ahead and also download Docker desktop. And then you'll see something like this and you'll be able to visually see the images in a prettier way, as well as whatever containers you might have running. So if that's what you want, you can also have that, but I'm going to mainly try and do everything uh, in the command prompt with the Docker CLI. But now let's move on to actually pulling a Docker image. So first things first, if we want to actually push, an image to the Azure Container Registry, we're going to need to have an actual image. So to do that, I'm just going to pull a very basic Hello World Docker image because the image doesn't matter, right? We just want to show the process of having an image and then pushing it up into Azure. So let's get an image. So I'm going to be running Docker pull Hello World because this is just a very basic image that we want to pull in. Once it's finished executing, it should look something like this. It should have pulled latest down. And if we want to confirm that we actually have it, you can run Docker images docker images will give you a list of all the images that you have you should be able to see the hello world latest right here or if you again downloaded docker desktop you should be able to open it and you should see that you downloaded it as well different ways that you can confirm that you have it but you as long as you have it that's what matters and if you want to make sure everything is good and you want to run this image you can just do a quick docker run hello world and this should just show you again, hello from Docker. This shows that your installation appears to be working and that Docker is configured correctly on your machine for the future use if you need to, but as well that you downloaded successfully and pulled this image onto your machine and you have it and you're ready to now say, okay, I have it. I want this to go into Azure and be as a container image in Azure in the container registry. What do I need to do? That's what I'm about to tell you. So before we can actually throw this image into the Azure Container Registry, we're going to need one. So let's go to the Azure portal. All right, guys. So now we are at the Azure portal. Make sure that you have a subscription. Go ahead and also create a resource group because you need both of those things so that you can actually create other things in Azure. So now what we're going to need is Container Registry. So find something that looks like this, Container Registries, and we're going to go ahead and create one, right? So click Create, use your Azure subscription, click your resource group, and then you just need to give it a name. So I'm going to do sample registry 924 because that is today's date. Then I'm going to click the location. That is fine. Pricing plan basic because again, just a tutorial. Now we're going to click ahead click ahead, click ahead. And I think just review and create and I'll be right back when it's done. All right. So deployment has completed. Let's actually go check it out now. So we can see here that we have our sample registry. First thing that I want you guys to go ahead and do is go to access keys. And we want to set the admin user. Now, after we set the admin user, go back to overview. And I want you guys to just keep note of this login server right here. We're going to need this. And something that's very helpful is that the container registry will give you these instructions for pushing an image, right? There's different ways you can do it. You can go ahead and use the AZ login and log in through your Azure and that way, or you can use the Docker login. I'll show you guys what they both look like, but essentially you can use AZ login or Docker login in case you guys start looking around and you see different things. Uh, don't be confused if you see Docker login instead of AZ login, they both work. But now let's actually go ahead and now that we have this container registry, actually push that hello world Docker image that we have on our local to Azure. So I'm gonna have my command prompt right here and I'm gonna keep this right here. I'm going to move my camera and make it a little smaller, move myself right here, just so you guys can see all the different instructions of what is going on. So like I said, there's two different ways of doing this. You can do a Docker login, and then you have to go and grab this login server right here, and then put that here. And then it's going to ask for your username. The username and all of that stuff is going to be this. 
So it's going to be this right here and then this password. You type that in and then you log in. But I'm not going to use it this way. So I'm going to do the way that they advertise. I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. So I'm going to do AZ login. Once you execute AZ login, you will get a pop-up with all your different Microsoft accounts and select the one that's tied to your Azure. And then once you do that, you should see something like this where your Azure subscription name, the ID and tenant, and you should see all of that in your Azure portal. If you look for it under your Azure subscription, you are now just going to select which one I only have one. So type a one, press enter, and you should see no issues here and you should be good to go. So once you've selected your tenant, essentially, now you want to go ahead and do this. So you want to actually go ahead and log in with this. So you can just do AZ ACR login and then to the container registry. Once you click that, it should, after a little bit, tell you that you are logged in. So you should see this login succeeded. That means you're good to go. Now you should be able to actually take that Docker image and push it up to the container registry. Whether you do the Docker way or the Azure way, both should end up with you seeing something like login succeeded to then move on to the next step. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do is tag your image. So once you've logged in successfully, again, we can pull up our Docker images. Once we see our images, we can see that we have, again, the hello world. This is the one that we actually wanna push into this container registry. So the next step is we need to actually tag this. So now we are gonna tag our image. What does this mean? Well, when you tag an image, it essentially sets where this image can be distributed. With that being said, as you can see, we are tagging the hello world image, which is the one we wanted to push up to the container registry with the path to the registry and then backslash hello world, the name of what the image is gonna be. So you need to do it something along these lines. It needs to be the path to the registry that's given to you like right here. And then it needs to be some name because this is what you actually see when the uh, image is in your repository. This is what you'll see. So you need to do it in this way. Otherwise, it won't be able to successfully push to the Azure Container Registry. So now let's tag it. You may have not seen that anything happened, but if you wanna confirm that something happened, do Docker images and you should see that now after tagging, you have this right here. So now this is the one we actually want to push. So if we go back, we can now just delete this and change it. So let's change this to push. And now this should work as well. Just make sure that you logged in successfully and that all your paths to the container registry are correct. Or you might see that you might not be allowed in. Uh, there might be some type of mistake here that you might need to re-authenticate yourself or something of that nature. So that makes sure that you have all these little details set as well as the access on your container registry set to admin. But now let's press enter and see if we are actually going to be able to push this. But right before we check if this image has actually successfully been deployed to Azure, please drop a like on this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on all my other great content that I have for you guys. But now let's move on. So as you can see here, Docker push to that path that we had seems to have worked default tag latest push refers to this repository and it says pushed so now let's go check our repository and see if it's actually in our container registry as we can see we are here i'm going to refresh this real quick and then what i'm going to do is go down here to repositories and as you can see we have this hello world repository right here and that is exactly the Docker image that we just pushed up. So we successfully were able to take a Docker image that we had locally and push it up to the Azure Container Registry. And it's all good, ready to be used in whatever you wanna use it within Azure. But this is just one way of deploying your Docker images to Azure. Do you have a big project? Do you work in a team? Do you wanna keep up to date with new versions of a Docker image? Well, maybe then you wanna be deploying a more automatic way and that can be with a CICD pipeline. And if you wanna learn about that, click on this video right here.